Finally, after years of asking, after many, many, many user requests, FL Studio is finally officially supporting themes. I'm gonna show you guys how to get access to this feature. I'm gonna show you how to use the feature, and then I'm gonna share with you some of my own custom themes that you can download for free. Without further ado, this is Al B. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. All right, so first things first, how do you get access to the themes feature? Well, you have to be using FL Studio 21 beta. Right now it's in 20.99 and you get access to that by going to the image line form. I'm gonna put a link in the description to how you get directly to it so you don't have to search for it. Once you're on the form, you can download the installer based on whatever operating system you're running. I do gotta put a disclaimer out there. This is a beta, so don't do any critical projects in, inside of the beta. I haven't personally had any issues with opening projects or saving projects or any crashes or really any issues at all. Um, so I'm not too worried about it personally, but I gotta give that disclaimer. Once you download it, um, you're gonna go into the settings and I wanna show you how to do that to edit your actual themes. Once you're in FL Studio 21 or once you open up the beta, you go to options, go to general settings and scroll down a little bit and you're going to see theme and we're going to select our theme. Now yours will not show these other three themes you see here because uh, it'll be default. I made these three custom themes and that's why I have these here. But once you go to default, now you can pretty much just start editing your theme as you see fit. So you got a lot of things you can change down here in the adjustments section. So you can change the different hue, which just kind of changes the overall vibe of it. You can change your saturation of it, whether you want it to be, you know, really saturated or not. On top of the saturation, you can modify the brightness of it, how bright or not bright it is. You can change the contrast of that to really like drive it out. As you can see, it can kind of be too much kind of quick. So I don't usually do a whole lot of playing around with the hue or, or uh, the saturation too much. So it'll take some playing around with before you find something that you actually like. Um, but that's how you actually do it. The good news for you is I do have three themes that I've taken the time to create for you guys. Um, I think they work really well and I am going to include a link in the description to where you can download these for free. You can use them as is or take them to the next level, however you want to modify them. But I have this bulls theme right here and I think it's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? I got the red and the white and then I made my buttons up here red. Um, you can kind of see my channel rack selectors are red my mixer track channels that I'm working on are red, my mute buttons and stuff are red, and I changed my steps to red and white. So this is one theme you can download. And then I have a Halloween theme where I have some orange and green kind of playing on the Halloween season a little bit. And then finally for you guys, I have the perp, um, which is just, you know, purple, one of my favorite colors. And so I thought this theme looked good as well. The channel rack selectors are purple. My mixer track that I'm working on is purple. Even the, the audio routing is purple and I have purple options up top. One thing that I didn't play with really in these three themes is my meters. So you can kind of change the way the meters look. So when your music is peaking or it's hitting hard, if you're doing drums, you can change what color that looks like as it goes up. And just to be honest, I'm so kind of programmed to these colors as an audio engineer. That's what my interface uses. That's what my uh, preamp uses. And that's just what you're used to seeing. I didn't play around with this much, but you probably should and just check it out. And I probably will in the future. I just haven't done it yet. But now let me show you guys how to actually install my themes. So it's really simple. Once you download it, you're just gonna go to your PC. You're gonna go to documents, image line, FL Studio, settings and then themes once you're in the themes folder this is where you would drop in my different themes or anybody's themes that you're using um and then once you do that you know restart fl studio if it's still open and you should be able to see those themes here inside of your theme selector just that simple guys all right guys that's going to be it for this video drop a comment below let me know which one of my themes was your favorite was it the bulls theme the halloween or the perp until next time, this is Al B, and we are out. Yes, sir.